Welcome back. Now that we discuss the differences between interface and abstract class, let's do a simple exercise. So what we want to do is we would want to create one interface and one abstract class. If you look at the interface that we would be creating, it's called flyable. Typically interfaces represents common actions that can be performed. So we would want to create an interface flyable with a fly method, right? It's fly. And what are the things that can fly? Bird and an aeroplane, right? Bird does not have anything in common with an aeroplane, right? Except that both of them can do the same action, that is to fly. So interface represents common actions. We would want to create an interface called flyable and we would want bird and aeroplane to implement the interface flyable. And what we would also want to do is we would want to create a runner class where we would want to do fly, flyable flying objects is equal to new bird and new airplane. So we are creating an array. Here you can see that the reference variable is of the type interface. So the reference variables of type interface can hold the implementations of the interface. The class bird is an implementation of the interface and airplane is also an implementation. The fly method for bird should print with wings. Fly method for airplane should print with fuel. What you need to do is to loop this and invoke the fly method and all these objects. So that's exercise number one, using an interface. And the exercise number two is using an abstract class. So we will use an abstract class animal. Uh, what we want to do is we would want to have an abstract method called void. So this should be an abstract method, make it an abstract method. And dog should extend animal and print bobo. And cat should extend animal and print mia mia. And what we would also want to do is to store the new cat and new dog array into a references of type animal and loop around it and invoke the bark method. So I'll recommend you to pause the video in here and try and implement them as an exercise. Okay, let's look at the solution for the interface. Let's create a new class. I'll call this interface runner or I can actually even better call this flyable runner because that's the interface that we are trying to test. And I'll create a main method and do a finish, right? So what we want to do is we would want to create an interface flyable. For this exercise, I'll start using a few inner classes. You can actually create a class da right down here. So class flyable, actually we would want to create an interface flyable, right? So interface flyable with a void fly method, right? That's what we would want to create. And we wanted to create two implementations of this flyable, right? So bird and airplane. So class bird implements flyable. And you should get a compilation error, control one, and unimplemented methods. Let's implement it in here, right? So what should be the implementation? This is out. We said with wings, right? And let's go ahead and Implement the next one, bird, after the bird, it's aeroplane, right, aeroplane. Implements, how does the aeroplane fly? With fuel, right, so with fuel. And now, in the flyable runner, we wanted to create an array. I already gave the code for you for that, right, it's very simple, flyable flying objects is equal to new bird, new aeroplane. And I would want to loop around them Oops, there's an error. Oops, I made a mistake. It should have been flyable array here, right? So that's what it needs to be. And now I can loop around it, right? Flyable flying objects. Flyable object is equal flying objects. And I can now say object dot fly. And when I run this, what would you happen? With wing and with fuel. First, the fly method is called on the bird, so it prints with wing, and now, second, it prints with fuel for the aeroplane. So what we are doing in here is using an interface to represent the common method between two completely different stuff. That's exactly what an interface is all about. Interface represents common actions that can be performed. The next example which we wanted to do was to create an abstract class, and the idea was to create an abstract method void bark and create two implementations of the abstract class, dog and cat. Dog is written, printing bobo and cat is printing meow meow. 
and to loop around it similar to how we did with interfaces. I'll leave this to you as an exercise. We'll discuss the solution to it a little later when we talk about polymorphism. In this step, we solve a couple of simple problems related to interfaces and abstract class. I'll see you in the next step. Until then, bye-bye. This video is part of a Java course with more than 250 steps helping you become an expert on Java. You can find the complete course details in the description of the video. Along with it, you can also find the details of a free PDF with 200 pages of awesome code examples in 28 minutes, creating great programmers.